question is what type or what pattern? Pattern A is big, fluffy LDL particles. These can actually not really penetrate arterial walls, so they're not gonna increase plaque. They're not gonna increase your risk of heart attack or stroke. Now, on the opposite, the pattern B are small, dense. They can creep through and cause that plaque buildup. Cause if only we had studies on this exact topic. Oh my God, we actually do. So in cardiology, no one looks at pattern size. It is your total LDL that matters the most. There are no research uh, studies that show that larger ones or smaller ones uh, matter more. Sure, you can find some stuff here and there, but it has not proven over the test of time. Let me help you out with the visual. This is a large and fluffy LDL particle. This is a small and dense one. Can you tell the difference in size? 20 nanometers, 22 nanometers. Any difference there? These super large fluffy ones, oh my goodness. 22 nanometers, 20 nanometers. Is there a difference in size to you? Both particles, regardless of size, are equally atherogenic. That is what the totality of evidence now says. You do not need to dig into this any deeper or wonder about it or think about it. It's not in the guidelines. Obviously, if it was a big deal and it actually made sense, it would be in the guidelines, but it's not. So. Listen to your cardiologist and stop ordering nonsense tests on your patients. All LDL particles are atherogenic regardless of whether they are larger or smaller. And anybody describing them as large and fluffy, that's just insane. No one in the medical field should be describing LDL particles as fluffy or whatever that word is. That's just not a medical term at all.